Hello everybody, it's Johnny Adamson with Pampered Chef and I'm coming to you from my kitchen again today. I am getting ready to make our green bean casserole for tonight's Christmas party at the Pampered Chef home of Kim and John Arendt. Um, I have already opened and drained four cans of just cut green beans. I've opened two cans of cream of mushroom soup and poured them into our classic batter bowl. I am going to add two-thirds of a cup of milk, I'm sorry, three-quarters of a cup of milk for each recipe. So I've, I'm doubling the recipe, so I'm going to add three-quarters of a cup for that one. And then i got another three-quarters of a cup to go with this one. And that'll get me my, my milk in there. I'm going to stir that together in the classic batter bowl just to make this kind of a Thin soup to go over the green beans. I'm going to mix all that together in just a second. And put some cheese and some uh, onions, salt, pepper, um, all kinds of great stuff into it to make it a little bit. And then I'm going to do them in the, in the rock crop. Slow cooker stand too. So we're going to do them, slow cook them for a while and Recipe I've been trying to, I've always made this in the oven, but I'm trying it in the in the slow cooker base this afternoon. So uh, that's ready. So I mix the soup and the and the milk. I'm gonna add the the green bean, I mean the pepper to this. It's calls for one eighth te teaspoon. So I'm gonna put about 12 grounds in there. That should give me about a quarter of a tablespoon, a teaspoon of pepper. Just enough to give us some flavor in this, and of course we'll always season it a little bit more tonight too when we're eating. Um, after I add the pepper, I pour it over the beans and two-thirds cup of onions. Let me go ahead and put those in there. So we have plenty of two-thirds cup of onions per recipe, so that's one, and one-third. And I think you can put too many onions in here. Okay, now I'm going to pour the soup mixture over it, and I'm going to stir everything together. And then I'm going to show you a couple of handy tools that I used before this to help me prep before we actually start to take film in this because I didn't want it to be all day. That's our classic batter bowl. I'm just going to mix this all together. Stir it all together, get it good and mixed together so it's good and creamy down through the whole recipe. I'm going to put it in the slow cooker base, let it cook for about three and a half, four hours. Then I'm going to top it with some Parmesan cheese and some more fried onions, French's fried onions, and call it a recipe for tonight. So. Using one of our bamboo spoons to, to get it mixed into the Get everything mixed really well in here. It fit, works extremely well with this deep, this nice rock crock. You know, our rock crocks are one of the products that will go anywhere you want to cook. In the oven, in the microwave, on top of the stove, in the slow cooker stand, out on the grill if I need to use it out there. And then it'll also go into the freezer, refrigerator, but best of all, it goes right into the dishwasher for easy, easy cleanup. So, I've got that mixed together. I'm going to pop it into our slow cooker stand on low for about five to six hours, which is just perfect for us. I'm going to cover it with our cover. And then I'm going to talk to you about a couple of other tools I use. I use our Easy Read Measuring Colander to drain the, the green beans with, real easy. And I use our Smooth Edge can opener with its pop top hook that fits easily into a can 
an, an easy pop lid. It just slides in there and helps pull it up and pop it. I'm not going to pop this one because I don't need to use this one in it. So I have got our recipe started for tonight. So I will uh, talk to you guys later. Thanks. Bye-bye.